love to be alone without all them. Freedom, freedom, April shower. But it ended long before I long for you like a day of all coming to the The SHU project uh, started really back in 2001 uh, with the uh, state system program that traveled to South Africa. Uh, the students who were part of that trip uh, visited three different elementary schools in pretty rural areas and one of the commonalities with these schools were that everybody had to wear an, a, a uniform um, that was supplied through the schools with the support of the parents. Um, but Part of the uniform did not include shoes, and a number of these kids were barefoot. Uh, to make matters more interesting, um, because these schools were rural, they were um, kind of out in the middle of nowhere, and a lot of the kids had to walk, you know, multiple miles to get there over pretty rough terrain. <laughs> student delegates from Westchester um, sat on the bus later on that evening. I know everybody brought $20 with them at least to buy something to take home for themselves. I'm proposing that we each put $20 in and start a shoe fund in honor of the gentleman who is our primary tour guide here because he talked about how he'd like to buy shoes and that's something that we could do. We won't be able to buy shoes for everybody, but we'll be able to make a difference for some. My name is Dion Kitching. I really love to be alone without all that. Aiken pain and that Aiken shower. And it long before I long for you like a day of all coming to the blue. I really love to be These were the shoes that this boy was wearing when we met him in the gymnasium. And if you can see them, you know, from the top, it doesn't look necessarily too bad. But boy, turning them over to see what the bottoms were like, and the fact that these had already been passed down from a couple kids in the family. And if you look on the inside, you know, the sole's completely worn out inside as well. There's actually a little nail that's sticking up you know, and part of the heel um, that's exposed that would be, you know, pressing against his skin. Um, to be able to trade these in for a brand new pair of shoes is certainly going to bring not only joy and comfort, but also safety to this kid. There are many different ways uh, to be of support um, through aid needs in South Africa. Um, there are a lot of uh, private foundations, there are church groups, and certainly here at Westchester University we have opportunities for students to participate. Uh, the best way to do it is to come out and be a part of ASA, which is Aid to South Africa, which brings together people on campus and in the community to help raise funds and awareness for kids in South Africa, many of whom are suffering from HIV AIDS. Um, at that event, um, there are different uh, venues that are going on, but one of the ultimate goals is to again raise some funds and a portion of the funds that are uh, raised at that event go directly to the purchase of shoes for children. What he told us was that he is a parent of uh, the school. And first of all, he would like to say thank you to the school for the opportunity uh, and also to the people and the churches from America who donate the shoes because uh, as parents they sometimes suffer uh, to get uh, all the necessary clothes and especially shoes for their children and they've got their own dignity and pride and by uh, being here today they show that as parents they care for their children and sometimes they don't have enough funds to buy the things and just by being here they show that they really care.
I really love to be alone with all, all the aching pain. Hey.